Okay, if I'm honest, there's a degree of obsession going on here. Now, we did Dynapod Mark I, which was following the 1970s design. Then we did Mark II because it was easy. It was one of those things that anybody could do just by grabbing an old exercise bike. We're now on to Dynapod Mark III. Dynapod Mark III is where I've been listening to what everybody else has been saying. And the two popular comments are add a flywheel and make it a chain drive. I like those a lot because they make a lot of sense to me. It's better uh, power transmission. You've got the flywheel that you put in energy in, so it'll smooth everything out. Loved them. Agreed with them 100%. I've incorporated them into Dynapod Mark III. Dynapod Mark III is going to be a little more challenging to do and a little more expensive. Now, obviously, I scrounge all my parts, but if you want to buy these parts, you're going to find it a little bit more expensive than you are to make Dynapod Mark II. However, we do have this, which is a mightily heavy flywheel that came out of an exercise bike. And what we're going to do is mount two chain drives on this. So one will be the input chain and one will be the output chain. Now the input chain is the bit that you're going to be cycling. And for that, what I want to do is attach this gear cluster. It's obviously from a bike, but it'll allow us to use a derailleur set so we can change the gears. Now I really like that as well, being able to change the gears. I don't know if you noticed, on when we did the electrical generator, we put a big pulley on the electrical generator because we needed a gear change. Here we can get the gear changes actually in the machine, and I really like that. Obviously, we have to fit this somehow to this. My solution is to use bike axles. So what I'm going to do is chop that axle off and weld that axle onto here so that then I can put the gear cluster on. What's more, if the gear cluster wears out, I can take it off and replace it. So we have to saw that and weld that onto the flywheel. So let's do that. So that's the adaptation of the flywheel complete. We have a nice freewheel there and it drives, drives that cog and that's the bit that goes up to power whatever. This actually is the bulk of the mechanism of the Dynapod because we can now change gear here. We don't need anything else. Now this flywheel, I was uh, lucky to find it and it was a fair bit of adaptation. You could make a flywheel from a bicycle uh, wheel if you just fill the tyre with concrete, that'll make a reasonable flywheel. Of course, you will have this problem still on how to get the drive out, but you could use one of these cogs for a drive out. So you could do the same thing, but with an ordinary bicycle wheel and fill the tyre with concrete and you get yourself a flywheel. I had this flywheel, we've done this adaptation, and this is what is now going to go in the Dynapod, and this will be the main mechanism. So here is Dynapod Mark II. I haven't bothered showing you the strip down because that's in video 1106. What we're going to do for Mark III is mount our adapted flywheel right there. So we're going to put it there, low centre of gravity, out of the way, join it up with a chain onto this. So what I need to do, obviously, is make a cradle for it. That's the crit. So that's the cradle, it goes that way around, it's made out of another bit of exercise bike and the main drive wheel just goes in there. There we go, like that. Now that will go into here. Like that. We're going to need a bar welding in here to hold these two apart but now we've got the chains nicely lined up with the chain drive, actually we don't have that much left to do. So after playing around with that for a while, loads of different positions, I ended up welding the cradle on here. I like that because although it raises the centre of gravity, you can still fold this thing up and I thought that was kind of cool. After doing that, it's pretty easy what I did. I mean, I just put a chain on the crank and this block that we put on the flywheel and to control it, there is a Shimano gear changer. So everything that, that side of stuff is off the shelf. That one's our drive cog, so we need to bring a chain up to some kind of little system here where we have the output shafts, like we've been doing with the Dynapod before. But this actually works beautifully. There we go, flywheel spinning nice and freely. To make the output shaft, what I've got is this thing. It's the rear hub, and it's a Shimano free hub. It's a little thing they came up with for a while. 
uh, the cassette actually goes on the hub. So I've removed the cassette and what we're going to do is put the cassette above that output. So to do that, I need some kind of support and I've got some stairs here that are chopped off from a, an old bicycle. So half of this thing is made from exercise bicycle, the other half is made from chopped up bits of bicycle. And what I'm going to do is weld that on there. Where are we? About there. Weld that on there, put that on, and the other arm will be the other support side. So let's weld that on. Okay, and there it is finished. So this is the actual takeoff here. So connected there to one of the gears in the uh, cluster, and the other gears, of which there are five, are takeoff points, depending on the gear ratio we want. Now, obviously, this thing you can actually change the gears in it, and that's great because sometimes you need high torque, sometimes you need high speed, and so that's why I put it with the gear. Now we started this in 11097, uh, 1097, 1099, which was Mark One. 1106 was Mark 2, and this is Mark 3, which is basically all chains and teeth. And I quite like it, to be honest, because this is a much more robust version. The other versions were to explore it, and then an easy-to-make version, and then this really robust version where the flywheel works beautifully. So there's the flywheel spinning nice and free, and then we're getting it transmitted up to here where we can take the takeoff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Dynapod. It obviously... Um, We'll take all of the adaptions that we did in the other Dynapod series that's on the Pedal Plower playlist. And if you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.